up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Jeremy for dinner. This is my boy Jared from Outside the Levee. We're here in St. Bernard Parish, Louisiana. I never knew what a parish was, but basically all throughout the United States of America, we have what's called counties. So you have a state, a county, and then you have your own little cities and towns within the county. Here, they have parishes, which is similar to a county for all the rest of us. Right here, that's a levee. That's a lot. Let's say there's a hurricane or a flood coming, they can shut that and that will try to prevent water from flooding everything. And most of you know, Hurricane Katrina absolutely wiped this place out. His home and every other home in St. Bernard Parish was under several feet of water. It was absolutely mind blowing. Well, I became a huge fan of his channel. We've become friends and we've been having a great time. If you've been watching this series, We've caught nutria, we've caught shrimp with a cast net. We went um, catching crawdads or crawfish. We actually caught four of them out of 25 traps. So that wasn't a huge success, but we didn't get skunked. Now we're going after garfish. And this is my dog, Maverick. He's our cheerleader today because he doesn't have opposable thumbs. He can't use a spinning reel yet. The riding shotgun folks and we're having a good time. Hey y'all, this isn't like your ordinary bait, but this isn't an ordinary day, and we're not even in an ordinary spot. All right, so we've got some fresh bait, and we've been seeing a lot of fish roll over near that water marker where the pelican is. So Jared, why don't we ease over to where that log goes into the water. We can tie off there, then cast our bait out into the channel. And if we get a big one on, we can just take this off and go. Like by the elephant ears? Yeah, you can kill it right there. We're perfect. Now we're tied up. While I was out here catching bait, I got a bunch of these shrimp and minnows and all kinds of stuff like that. And I'm going to throw it out here as a form of chum. Right out there. Just give them a little, little flavor. Let them know we're here. Garfish don't like inhale their food. They'll pick it up and swim around with it. So I wanna make this as easy for them as possible. Just like that. See how it's got the little, the little flipper flapper there? Now look, see how you can see this in that dark, dingy water? So you've got the scent and they can see it. Throw it right out there. Let it hit the bottom. I've been seeing them right out there. Perfect. Garfish and catfish, that's the order of the day. Let's see what we catch. Here you go. Thank you, sir.
Oh, there's a fish there. There's definitely a fish there on that big head. Okay, he's running. Oh, baby! <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, hold on. So he picked up that big head. That's what they like. I'm just going to let this one sit here for a second. And in the meantime, I'm going to clear this out because this fish could be this big or this big. I might have a daggum small fish on here. I probably do have a crab on. Look at the no size one. crab! <laughs> Dude, where's the net? We don't have one. Hey! Let me call him. Look at the size crab! Here, hold hold this. I'm going to try to grab him. <laughs> How y'all like me now? Dude. This crab's still trying to eat the bait. He's yeah, like, I mean, it's fresh gas for goo. I don't blame him. <laughs> We're gonna have to save this in case. Look at that, y'all. We just caught a uh, crab on hook and line. Throw him in there. He's running hard now. Let's give it to him. Got it. I feel nice head shape. That's a big crab, that's what. If this is a crab. <laughs> oh, night. Good lord, what a head shake. Look at the bubbles coming to us. You think? Oh, it's a car! It's a giant oh, it's car! A oh, Are you, dude? We're gonna need something to shoot this thing. Shoot it? Yeah, you got a pistol in this boat? Yeah, I always keep a pistol. You want to shoot it? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, you can't dude. lip him. Wait, what do you got here? What's on this one? I'm trying to get this one out the way. Are you kidding me? One. Oh my goodness. All right, hold on. This dude wants to shoot. All right. Hey, you want me to hold him up and you shoot him? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Here. Cause if somebody- Yeah, no, we don't want him in the boat. He'll go crazy. All right. Hold on. Guys, how did this just happen to me? Him that time that's the headache dude you can't lip that fish no dude <laughs> look at the size <laughs> garfish that's the biggest garfish i've ever caught in my life that is awesome bro <laughs> okay clear the gun is clear now okay i'm just gonna set that right there okay mav is probably wondering exactly what the heck what just happened look that's at that dude. boys how about that? Oh my God, that's my first alligator gar I've ever got in my life. How about that, Look dude? Look at that. You see all the colors in the, in the tail there? And then you see, see what color his eyes are? You know why they have it like that? Fish slap. <laughs> Didn't know he'll feel I should have been ready for the one, the counter hook. He got me. All right, he snuck me. He snuck me. All right. Boom! This is the most unique fishing trip ever. I popped a cap and a gar. We caught two crabs on a fishing line. There you go, boys. F-18 for the win. Yeah. Now we're looking for oyster mushrooms. This is Louisiana at its finest right here, folks, living off the land. Maverick, he's in a full-on comatose. He don't know where he's at. You're just gonna walk? 
I'm just gonna look real quick, yeah. Let me let me ease down through All here. Right. Alright, there we go. You can just set him down on that high ground there. Right. I'ma tell you, you wanna make a good pasta? You take that goobly goop, kind of brown him a little bit and put him in like a white pasta sauce and drop some of these in there. Goobly goop and oyster mushroom pasta, there baby. There you go. All right, y'all, we got mushrooms and we got fish. We even got a couple crabs. Let's roll. We're in Louisiana and I don't want y'all to make fun of me. Because I'm sure all y'all know how to clean a garfish better than me. But, that being said, I'm going to show you how I do it. You can get right in this skin right here. That's, a, that's the only place you can really get your knife in, right there. Then you can take a pair of tin snips like this. And this. And I've never cleaned one this big before. So now I might I might be realizing why y'all why y'all use the um, machete the machete, but if you don't have a machete nearby, you can in fact use tin snips. There. See, this teamwork is actually working really good. Now, if I had to clean 25 of these, yeah, right. I don't think it would work. I, I think we enough. got it, T.O. We got it, man. We got it, it's a good size, though. Uh, we, we got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah. It's a little manual, little manual uh, squeeze here. Put it yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty unbelievable, huh? And you just let that knife just like that. <clears throat> you would never in a million years think these things would have the meat on them that they do. But, they do. There we go. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. And if you take that skin and put it out in the sun, let it dry completely, all them little scales come apart and they make next up and all that out. Really? Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I want a gar necklace after here and that. I want to I want, I want be loaded up with gar Dude, scales. I want to be iced out, iced out like Kirk that's Cousins. That's right, bro. One of the other really good things about shooting him, A, number one, you're not going to get hurt. Sarah, when we first started dating, she got bit on the arm by a gar and it left a permanent scar. I mean, she's still scarred there to this day. So shooting it, you're going to put it out. You're, no one's going to get bit. And it's a quick, ineffective way just to knock him out. Now, we want to take our knife, just like we're cleaning out the back strap on an alligator. Come straight down his backbone right here. Look at that. Now, obviously he's dead, but those are nerves. But it's a good indication that he's very fresh. Now, I want to know something. Should we tell them why these things are red on one side and white on the other? Don't do it. No, don't. Back up. Back up. Go, go, go. No, seriously. Have you ever... <laughs> don't do it. He doesn't look like... This is not the right person to do that <laughs> yeah, one. <don't. laughs> tell me. What, what you told me. That's the we'll have to, we'll have have to talk phone. about that later on in the night. You'll <laughs> see why. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, you guys, check it out now. We met the owners of this restaurant the very first night we got here. Rachel and Brett own it. It's called The Fish Shack. Super nice family. And we've been here every day eating lunch. They have the best fried fish I've ever had. It's like a river catfish. They have shrimp, hush puppies, and french fries. Like, 
that's what they do. They make amazing fried fish. Well, whenever I told them we were gonna get garfish, everyone was like, oh, whoa, whoa. They, they sort of like took a step back. So we're about to go in there right now and we're gonna trim this out into the same size fish as they cook. And we're gonna do a blind taste test with some of their patrons that are in there and see what's better, the river cat or the garfish. Come on in, y'all. We've got sushi for you ladies right now. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. We sell it by the bite. <laughs> What's that? Pardon? No, ma'am, I'm not. Wow, that's good. Dude, taste that. Look at that. We're about to cook some fish. We got the old garfish guide himself right now. This is. The Garfish Command. Right now, we're inside the levee. We're not outside the That's levee. That's right. We're inside. We're inside. And we're cozy and we're protected. So what we want to encourage people to is to break out of your comfort zone and get outside of the levees, whether that's your own real levee that you live near or your own personal levees that you need to go over to get out into the adventure. Outside the levees, come see us on YouTube. Love to have you. There's some of our oyster mushrooms. We're gonna season them up and cook them, but first, that's the size fish they're cooking. That's some of that river cat. But what we're gonna do, we will come in here and cut up some of this gar like that, and we're gonna make nice chunks that kind of are the same relative size. To me, this most resembles like a grouper. I mean, that's. I just wouldn't believe this meat was this nice, but it is. This is what everyone comes here for. This is what you're known for. What do you think people are going to like more, this or this? I'm excited to find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay, so they have a proprietary little recipe going on here. You're going to have to actually come here to taste it to see. But I'm telling you, the only reason we're filming here is because the food is amazing. So the wet batter, it has like a honey mustard smell to it, and it really, I don't know, it tastes great. I've never had anything that tastes quite this good. And that's my special. That's your special, huh? Yes, I have to kill you. Okay, so we gotta get Addison in the video here. This is Miss Addison, she's nine years old. This is Brett's daughter. She's cute as a button. What's your favorite thing to eat when you come here? Definitely the fries. The fries. fries? The fries are like the best. Are you kidding me? They got all this good fish and you like french fries? You know how to say french fries in Spanish? Papas fritas. <laughs> we just want to see what the difference in taste and texture is. You know, you go to a lot of restaurants and they just take fish that is already pre-battered and pre-prepared, throw it in oil and that's it. Here, it's all hand cut up, freshly battered, seasoned and cooked to perfection. Are you gonna taste them and tell us which one you like the most? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so say hey to your best friend in school. Hello Malaysia, hello Riley, hello Samantha, hello Casey, hi JC and Oh yeah, Mama and Papa. Oh, how sweet is that? I ask people all the time and they're always like, um, I don't know what to say. Awesome. I've taught Jared my secret on one of his out of the levee videos, but I'll teach you my secret. What? So you take a little knife like this, and if you can press through easily, the fish is not cooked. So you see like that the fish isn't ready let it keep going when you can take the knife and put a little pressure and it does not break the fish is ready that really like, yes i swear every time she talks i can only see my cousin benny <laughs> <laughs> you are so my cousin benny's wife i won't take that as an insult <laughs> it's one of my favorite <laughs> movies of all time there's a good movie let me ask you do you think it cares what you're wearing <laughs> 
makes fun of me nonstop. Like he says he can make a dictionary out of the stuff that comes out of my mouth. <laughs> Little dough idea. Going to take the drink out of a broken and bam! <laughs> I love it. These oyster mushrooms have a really nice fleshy texture. Oh, they're gorgeous. And this is a great vegan option too. If you like fried fish or fried shrimp, but want to do vegan lifestyle, I think this is going to be it. Batter them suckers up and let's make a dish. Oh, we got us some certified fish eaters over here. Rachel's taking orders. Someone's got to make money around here, huh? Touche. What? No dipping sauce? No dipping sauce, because I want you to taste it. This is a cat. No, this is a catfish. This is really good, y'all. The garbage is flaky and it's light. Nothing wrong with the fish. Nothing wrong with it. Okay, it tastes like a bat. Now try this. This is some of those wild mushrooms. I've never had these before. Mmm. Now, we got them off of if we eat six of those, will we stay in shell now? No, I know. I feel you. you go wherever you want to go. <laughs> I was going to ask the same thing. I said, I never leave the farm. Uh, kind of eat a couple more, you'll you feel like you're flying. There you go. Wow. Good, right, man. Although everything is fried with the exact same batter, everything has its own taste, its own texture, its own feel. And I would honestly tell you, the gar reminds me most of a, of a grouper. The catfish has a totally unique flavor. All of it is amazing. But I want to give a shout out to this couple right here. Mr. Brett, Ms. Rachel, sorry for talking with my mouth full. <laughs> wonderful people in a wonderful town. And I've, it's been an honor coming here, spending time with all of you. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of your restaurant. Yeah. If you guys live in this area, if you're just passing through, this is the fish shack. Everything will be in the comments in the uh, description below. You're gonna enjoy it, and uh, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. But that's all I've got for today. I'm flying back home tomorrow to see the girls, and then we're going to Denver. Aww. Take care. Take us with you. <laughs> God bless. And guess what? Say it out loud. We gone. <laughs>